hello in this demo we will see static methods now I have the same example with me that we have done in our earlier video housing loan I have account number holder name loan amount and rate of interest and we said that the rate of interest is nothing but it is static now this is fine for a customer who wants to take the loan so if anybody is taking the loan I will be creating their object now for example I have some enquiries with me like some XYZ person walked into my bank and I would like to just give them the details about the loans housing loan so if anybody comes to my bank and if they want to have an inquiry regarding housing loan I never create the object for them I never give them the account number I'm not going to create an object for them what is that I'll do I'll just ask how much loan do you want now depending upon that loan I would say the rate of interest would be so and so and you need to repay so and so amount and I may ask like you know EMIs easy monthly installment he would like to repay the amount in 12 months in 24 months or 48 months XYZ so if I have this kind of scenario where I need to perform some operation or I need to execute a method or I, I need to implement a method where I need not to create the object without creation of the object I want to do something and I want to execute some code so for that kind of scenarios I can go for a static method so I'll say public static void enq inquiry now for the inquiry I would be asking the person about two details first is the amount like how much loan he needs second months like in how many months he want to repay for EMIs now depending upon this I would be calculating all the information so I'll say double repay amount equals to amount plus amount into rate of interest by 100 this is I'm, I'm, I'm applying the same formula that I applied earlier loan amount now this is the repay amount now I'll display the details saying that your loan amount is nothing but first location and rate of interest is so and so and your repay amount your repay amount is so and so and your EMIs your EMI would be so and so for so many months I'll just put a comma at zero location loan amount is AMT comma rate of interest is nothing but ROI comma next repay amount is we have calculated already I'll just say repay amount comma EMI is nothing but repay amount by months repay amount by months comma finally the number of months now I got an inquiry method which takes two parameter the amount and the number of months they are going to repay it and it is going to display these things now if you observe this method is a static method anyway as per the rules we need to keep the methods as public whenever I want to 
execute a static method I cannot execute it with the help of object see that if I say h1 or h I cannot access that static method in query it's not available for me so how do I access static methods in the same way as I was accessing static variable I'll just say class name dot in query and I need to pass two parameters I want to take 68,000 of loan 68,000 loan and I'm going to repay it in 12 months that's it loan amount 68,000 rate of interest is same for inquiry or the customer it's 12.8 repay amount is so and so EMI is 6,003 for 12 months so this is your static method so static method is a method which is declared with the keyword static static method is a method which is declared with the keyword static and I can invoke a static method directly with the class name I cannot invoke a static method with object name and one more point that we need to be careful about that is I can use only static members of the class see that in this class I have account number account name loan amount as well as rate of interest in my static method I can use only rate of interest I cannot use account number name and uh, loan amount so I cannot use non static members in a static class I can use only static members in a static class so amount and months these are non static but still I am using because these are the local to this method to this inquiry method amount is local month is local repay amount is local so these are all local variables I can use it whereas if I want to use any member of the class I can only use static members of the class I cannot use account number you see that it is not available for me so this is all about your static method static method is a method which is declared with the keyword static and it can be invoked directly with the class name we cannot invoke static method with object static method can access only static variables whereas non static method can access both static variables as well as non static variables I can also overload a static method I'll just copy this I can have static method overloading whereas I cannot overload static constructor but static method I can definitely overload now I don't want to go for months I want only this information so I don't want to go for repay amount or EMIs or oh sorry EMIs so I'll just remove this just I want to go for this so if you observe I have two methods with the same name but different parameters so this is the concept of method overloading if the methods are static then I say that this is static method overloading so I can even overload static methods now I can call that method housing loan dot inquiry and I have two methods available with me I'll be calling a method with only loan amount with single parameter so this is my static method overloading one more point that I need to uh, discuss here about static constructor when does the static constructor gets executed I'll just put a breakpoint over here as well as over here now static constructor gets executed before creation of any object and there is no specific time for it it can get executed at any time but it gets executed before creation of any object press F11 it has jumped to this now see that static constructor got invoked after that it is invoking all the you know, rest of the part so static constructor gets invoked before creation of any object and this is all about your static method now if you observe we have been writing our code in a main method which is static so this method is inside the class program and if you observe that we are not at all creating object of class program to execute main method main method gets executed automatically because it is a static so here I am I have been executing this main method without the object of the class 
because it is static that's why i call this method as static so static method is nothing but it is a method which is declared with the keyword static and we have been using many other static methods for example your right line see that the console is a class and right line is a method so whenever i want to execute a right line method i never uh, went to create the object of class console and then i'm um, saying that object dot right line method i'm just directly calling console dot right line so console is a class right line is a method which is static console is a class read line is also a method which is static so prior to our knowledge we have been using static methods our main program is static console dot right line is static console dot read line is static because any method which i access directly with the class name is a static method so this is all about your static method thank you